Hi there, my name is Enrico from the Customer Success team here at ProjectWorks, and today we're going to go over timesheeting. First, we're going to cover creating a time entry. Let's go across to our timesheet. You can access your timesheet from either this top right icon or going across here and selecting my timesheet. As you can see, there's not a lot to look at. So let's go ahead and add a time entry. First, we need to choose a time code to add our time against. We select add a time code. In the search box, we can find a project and we can choose a time code. Alternatively, we can use a slash and search for a time code directly. It's worth noting that you're only going to be able to see the time codes that you've been given access to. Now we can see our time code showing. We can enter our time. When you enter time, you'll need to include a decimal if you want to input hours. And putting the numbers without a decimal will be interpreted as minutes. We also have the option to include a time, a comment into all of our time entries. You can also add time by using the copy, paste, and cut options. I might be a person that is across multiple projects and tasks, which means I may need to add time against multiple time codes. I can go ahead and add more time codes into my timesheet now. I can go ahead and enter my time. but I don't want to have to add my time codes into my timesheet every day. To avoid that, I can pin my time codes so they'll remain there the next time I enter my timesheet. I do that just by clicking the pin icon. And when I move to the next week, I can now see my pin time codes and I can also unpin them just as easily. You can also enter your time using the day view. It works the same as the week view, but it also allows you to enter, enter multiple time entries of the same time code for the same day. This is useful as you may want to assign different comments to different time entries on the same time code. We can also apply some filters to our timesheets. One handy one is we can choose to show how many hours we have remaining against the time code. For this example, I'm going to move into our previous week as we can change historic timesheets along with adding time in advance. And I turn on to see my hours remaining using the Hive Show Group button. We can show this filter like this. It tells us exactly what hours are remaining against our time codes in real time. This is handy as you may be contracted onto a task for a specific number of hours. The hours remaining will let you know exactly how much time you have left. Now, if I add hours that exceeds the hours remaining, our hours remaining will now be red. And this tells us that we are over time. We can see here that I'm over my expected hours by two hours and reducing my time will resolve this. I'm just going to go back to our current week. Now a useful way to see what time codes you can use within ProjectWorks is you can choose to show all assigned time codes. This will show all the time codes that you've been assigned to use. I can enter some time into any one of these time codes, along with pinning any codes I may need to use in the future. Now, if I decide I don't know, I no longer need to add time on a specific day, all I need to do is remove the time.
If I no longer need the time code at all, and I have an and I have a number of time entries for the whole week, I can simply remove the time code. This will remove, will remove all time for that given week. It's worth noting when removing time codes with allocated time, it will only Im impact the time code in that specific week. If it has been pinned and time has been allocated in other weeks, that will remain intact. There are also situations where you won't be able to edit your timesheet. If I move back to the previous week and try to change time in this time code, I can see that it's already been marked for, for reviewed. This means I can no longer change the time in that time entry. Now, if we want to view all of our time entries, we can just go into the My Time Entry screen. From this view, we can see a log of all of our time entries. And from this screen, we can see all of our time entries that have been logged. We have the ability here to filter to a specific year or a specific range. Uh, we can filter by project type, invoice status, and we can choose whether to show our leave and holidays. We also have the ability to apply a range of filters. And if we want to, we can download a CSV of all of our time entries. And that's it. That's how we log time and project works.